Good morning, sons and daughters of God, December 26. We are given life without end. Revelation 2.11 says, He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. While life is the inheritance of the righteous, death is the portion of the wicked. Moses declared to Israel, I have set before you this day life and good and death and evil. The death referred to in these scriptures is not that pronounced upon Adam, for all mankind suffer the penalty of his transgression. It is the second death that is placed in contrast with everlasting life. In consequence of Adam's sin, death passed upon the whole human race. All alike go down into the grave, and through the provisions of the plan of salvation, all are to be brought forth from their graves. There shall be a resurrection of the dead, both of the just and unjust. For as in Adam all die, even so in Christ shall all be made alive. But a distinction is made between the two classes that are brought forth. All that are in the grave shall hear his voice and shall come forth. They that have done good unto the resurrection of life and they that have done evil unto the resurrection of damnation. They who have been accounted worthy of the resurrection of life are blessed and holy. On such the second death hath no power, but those who have not, through repentance and faith secured pardon, must receive the penalty of transgression. Said the angel, Satan is the root, his children are the branches. They are now consumed root and branch. They have died an everlasting death. They are never to have a resurrection and God will have a clean universe. And all the redeemed hosts, old and young, great and small, cast their glittering crowns at the feet of their Redeemer and prostrated themselves in adoration before him and worshipped him that liveth forever and ever. The beautiful new earth with all its glory was the eternal inheritance of the saints. I hope you have a great day. You are a son and daughter of God.